My name is William Quarles. I worship regularly at St. Casimir in Canton. And a successful Lent is one in which I become closer to God and also find some measure of peace with my fellow man. Yes, just uh, being able to follow my faith and uh, stay true to what I believe in and being able to make those sacrifices that I need to make during the Lent season. I would think just sacrificing where you can. I think basically that's it. Hi, my name is Mary. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, and I think a very nice thing to do for Lent this year would be to definitely pray more. My name is Lauren, and I'm from Bel Air, Maryland, and this Lent I'm going to go to church. A uh, successful Lent would be able to come closer to God and to do things to help other people. A uh, successful Lent for us would be um, uh, a time of preparation prayer for Easter season um, and a time for our family to become holier together. Successful Lent to me would be, I would say, trying to give your all and try to do, do your best to make changes in your life, things that you know that you really should not be doing, uh, to try harder, to um, just try to give God, God your best, and to try your best to, I would say, um, follow the way of the Son. Oh, a successful land is really trying to uh, really do some sacrifices and something that uh, you used to do during the year and you prevent yourself from doing during Lent. Peace and prosperity for my family and for probably the rest of the world. Well, what I've got set aside to do is, is more good than giving up. So hopefully I can do good this year. And that's really, to me, would be successful if we all did something good instead of just saying giving up chocolate or giving up candy, you know. Um, I'm trying to do more in, in the church, the volunteering, giving communion, things like that, making myself available. I am Archbishop Carmelo Morelos, recently retired from Archbishop Sambuanga in the Philippines. I am here in Baltimore to visit my brother, Dr. Morelos, and my friend, Dr. Ministeros. So I retired last January. I think if we were to tell anyone to have a life that is uh, worthwhile, it should be what Mother Teresa, Blessed Mother Teresa told us. When she was asked if she could really solve the problems that she faced in, in, in Calcutta, he said, God did not call me to be successful, he called me to be faithful. So if we are faithful to our destiny as sons and daughters of God, and do His will, and strive to do His will by obeying His commandments, and uh, doing a life that is of service to others, then I think that would be life that is worth my living.